okay so we were at the intercellular digestion and extracellular digestion so let me give you the overview of this Okay, so let me give you the overview of this. The intracellular digestion was that that the digestion which occurs with the inside the cell. So because they are having the food particle uh, smaller, so they will be easily enter into the cell and they will be easily digested. So the digestion that occurs inside the cell, so that is called the intracellular digestion. Uh, I gave you the example in last video that was ameba. Okay, in ameba there was all the step for were done. So that was ingestion, digestion, absorption, assimilation, as well as the you can say that the ingestion. So that all process were happening in the ameba. So that was uh, the inside the cell. Uh, through the lysosome enzyme that were produced that was like uh, fusing with their enzyme lysosome enzyme were fusing with the food vacuole and they were they were churning their food and that was absorbed into the cytoplasm and the and the waste product was in what what was the ingestion the waste product was uh, excreted out from the you can say that the cell membrane so that the cell membrane got ruptured and they were excreting out from the cell membrane so that was a small overview of the ameba we are done with that so i was just giving you the overview to reminding that what we learned into the last video now let's talk about the the you can say that extracellular digestion so extracellular digestion means that there is a particular organ or you can say the outside of the cell the digestion occurs is called extracellular digestion what the body cavity or you can say that the organ where uh, or you can say the outside the cell and intracellular that what are inside the cell this is outside the cell the digestion occurs is called the extracellular digestion all the you can say that all the higher living organisms higher living organism are the example of extracellular digestion like human beings animals okay so now let me give you the uh, you can say that there is a particular sequence of the phylum okay so they are having large food vacuoles or you can no no they are sorry they are having the large food that cannot be diffused into the cell okay so that's why the digestion cannot occurs into the into their cell into extracellular cell like uh, human beings so that's why but they are having like you say they are having this uh, they eat the small particles so that can easily be digested so that's in digestion into the cell so that's why the 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 you can say the digestion occurs into the cell the example was ameba so let's talk about the example of the intracellular digestion and the extracellular digestion so intracellular digestion there is a example you can say the porifera porifera this is a multicellular di multicellular organism but here also the intracellular digestion occurs uh, inside the cell you can take the ameba they are having uh, they rely on the they are unicellular they rely on the one cell so that can be example as well of the you can say that uh, here we are talking about intracellular and here we will be talking about extracellular okay so the intercellular you can say that the protozoa phylum can come protozoa are into the intercellular digestion uh, in which a porifera a ameba uh, is there and you can porifera is basically having the sponges they don't have any organ inside the body so their food basically go through the inside their body through the water so they, they don't have any kind of particular organ uh, that can like you can say that can do the uh, 
extracellular digestion they are not having their organ particular organ so that's why their digestion occurs into the cell so they are having the uh, chemical digestion in these all the chemical digestion occurs we'll be talking about next into the uh, next topic so that will be the example of these uh, now let's talk about that what which are the di which are the examples that uh, the example of the organism in an organism where both digestion occurs that will be the phylum cnidaria you can say that cnidaria in which uh, you can say that hydra is there okay you can say that uh, cylindrates are there and uh, there is the uh, tenophera also the there is a phylum where the bow digestion occurs okay so that one can be the example of the bow digestion there is all these all are the phylum where the organism is in actually you can say that the phylum platy platy helminths is also the phylum in which the bow digestion occurs like take the example of flatworms plain area flatworms plain area these all are the example of the both digestion in which the organism occurs now you can see that remaining there is the arthropoda uh, cord that are the chordata in the chordata phylum there is all the arthropoda chordata um, you can say that human beings animals okay so they all are having the extracellular digestion they are they the digestion do not occur into their cell they the digestion occur into the particular organ okay so that was some of the example of the intra and extracellular digestion okay now let's talk about the <clears throat> mechanical digestion and the chemical digestion in uh, in starting on video uh, into the digestion steps i give you the sum of the uh, overview of that both now we are talking about these digestion chemical mechanical and chemical digestion what does mean means chemical mechanical digestion means the you can see the churning which is the you can say that uh, the digestion which is occur uh, through our mouth means the they are converted into the uh, small small pieces so <clears throat> that you can say that the churning process which occurs in our mouth when we intake the food and you can say that the uh, they are basically the machinery process mechanical means machinery so machinery process are done into our body like stomach <clears throat> A stomach basically grind the food uh, through their uh, enzyme you can say that uh, you can say that uh, chewing process can be the uh, you can say that chewing process or you can say that investigation chewing process and uh, basically they are done with the enzyme as well enzyme through the chemical secretion okay so they are basically the uh, in some of the element like uh, i'll be giving you example first of all let's talk about the this what is digestion occurs in that so in which the mechanical digestion occurs the machinery processes occurs okay so means you can say the they are like uh, breaking down uh, the complex food is breaking out down into the uh, simplest form a uh, simplest food like uh, through the hydrolytic enzymes so this is what does it like grinding you can say mastic mastication or you can say that the churning process peristalsis movement so they all are like uh, the example of the mechanical digestion now let's talk about the chemical digestion what does this mean chemical digestion means the digestion that occurs through the enzyme only through the enzyme okay not through the organs only the enzyme enzyme like uh, enzyme are the biocatalyst that is speed up the reaction 
okay so you can take the example of the enzyme there are many enzyme like protease lipase there are many enzyme that occur into the, the in in our body there are also the enzyme so enzyme okay enzyme like for example take the example of ameba hydra there is no organ in them there is no organ like them stomach intestine mouth and like our body is having they don't have any uh, you can say that the organ so their their breaking their digestion occur through the enzyme just ameba hydra and you can say that primitive organism they are their digestion occurs by the chemical uh, digestion okay uh, you can say that in human beings human beings both digestion occurs chemical and mechanical okay human beings both digestion occurs because we are having the organ in organ they are the secretion of the enzyme that to the to the to break down the food so in human beings both digestion occurs in actually okay so yeah so this was the example and you can also take the example of the living organism of uh, fishes and you can say that human beings uh frog cockroaches birds there are many examples cockroaches okay cockroaches birds they they all are having the uh, you can say that they all are uh, they all are based on the chemical and uh, chemical and mechanical both digestion so these were the enzyme you can say that uh, in chemical there were the enzyme they through the digestion occurred and these were like the in our that like we are having the organ so we in our body the both digestion occurs we are having the particular organs for the digestion we are having the in particular organ there are particular enzyme are there for the digestion so in our body the both digestion occurs in 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 these the unicellular you can say that the they can be multi multicellular as well so they are not uh, having the organ they are based on the cell so that's why they are like having the their digestion occur through the enzyme so they which they are having inside the cell so they are like uh, based on the enzyme and they with and and the mechanical with which we are we are having the digestion through the mechanical and chemical both because we are having the organ and in organ there is the secretion of the enzyme as well particular enzyme so that was today's topic mechanical and chemical digestion and the intracellular and extracellular examples